It's Monday, July 3, and I am headed out from the south unit of Theodore Roosevelt National Park, and I am headed to the Black Hills of South Dakota. But a birder never takes the most direct route when there's birds to be seen between A and B. And uh, the birds to be seen today are sage grouse, maybe. They're not on a lek anymore, so it's kind of a crapshoot. Um, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Um, and then also long-billed curlew. That's not a lifer for me, but it is just such a cool bird that I've only seen so very few times. I'd love to see it again. So I'm gonna be taking the back roads between here and the Black Hills. It's a little cloudy and it's bitten some rain this morning. Uh, hopefully it, it holds off a little bit um, and between the drops I can see some birds. Mine said rest area. So I got out and rested. But I am not using that. There's a really big cliff swallow colony underneath this bridge. There's got to be several hundred of them. Well, I think my way is blocked. 
so I've run into a bit of a conundrum. Um, the rain that we had earlier this morning apparently is uh, causing this road to flood. And um, not only is there a $250 fine to cross it if it's flooded, but I don't care to uh, run into any issues regardless. There's no sign, there's no monument, there's no marker to tell me other than Google that I just crossed over into South Dakota. So goodbye. going to be great. Um, the only reason I'm crossing the border this way is because I got turned around by that float water. So, <laughs> oh well, <laughs> here comes a car, one in like 10 miles. <laughs> Here's to celebrating North Dakota. Cheers. running out of steam so I had these on hand <laughs> I need a little shot of energy no target birds although good birds beautiful scenery um, but a long day of driving dirty dusty back roads and I was up early this morning so I kind of need this right now let's go get them still in sage country so there's still a chance for sage grouse although it's small I'll still take small <laughs> and driving through sage country every tuft of sagebrush sticking out of the grass looked like a sage grouse ended up being none of them were I'm here at the very center of the United States. Uh, there's a little path that walks out to the flag out there I plan to do in just a moment. Um, this is the marker I thought that uh, I was at when I was in uh, Rugby, North Dakota. Um, but this is a little bit of redemption that now I am at the true geographic center of the United States. Not North America, the United States here in the middle of nowhere South Dakota on old 85 
and lo and behold there's one other tourist here who's out taking a look at the flag right now on the marker. So here it is, the official geological survey reference mark for the center of the United States. So this little monument that was set up contains a little cash box here too that you can put your, your name in, logging the record of you being there. There I am. And it's got some other interesting little things in there. A Bible, trinkets people have left behind. Rubber ducky. I'll put it on my Ebert list. This is just one of those things you gotta do when you're on a road trip. Time to hit the road again. I've got a new hitchhiker. There's probably a few more of them in the car too. They've been all over every time I've opened the door and had the windows open sometimes they'll come flying in the car while I'm driving down the road and so here's at least one on my dash. As I was driving there was a hawk perched in this tree and I thought maybe it was a fruginous hawk so I pulled over and um, immediately got my glasses on it and it was a red tail, it was a real pale red tail, but all of a sudden I heard this like that and I looked up a little higher and there was a short-eared owl chasing after the red tail. And they flew out over this way and the red tail kept on going, but the short-eared swooped and dove over the field. and eventually perched on one of the tufts out in the uh, grasses here. Truly an incredible stop. Uh, wasn't expecting that, but uh, this is their habitat. Um, this is where they love it. It's neat to see them in their element right here. can now see the Black Hills in front of me, still about an hour out from my campsite. I only thought it appropriate after dipping on sage grouse and long-billed curlew, dipping on birds in North Dakota and birds in South Dakota to stop at the DQ for a Dakota double dip. I made it here to my campsite at the Rod and Gun Campground uh, in the Black Hills National Forest. There was an open campsite on July 3rd. In fact, two out of seven sites were open. I gladly took one. Um, beautiful drive up Spearfish Canyon from Spearfish. Um, and a beautiful campsite here. Although, compared to where I've been, very limited visibility. <laughs> I'm not complaining. I am excited to do more birding and hiking in the coming days. I barely got supper done before it started dripping. Threw my stuff in the tent, and as I got in, it started raining.